Hey, and welcome to the very first ever VerbalBrew.com uh, video review. I'm, uh, I promised this for a long time, uh, so I'm going to do it because it's easier than writing, apparently. However, I've been playing with this all day because I guess I'm an idiot and can't do these things properly. So I'm going to break this in, and it might seem a bit choppy because I'm going to break it up and email it out to Bill to edit and deal with it, I guess. <laughs> So anyways, uh, I, today I am going to review uh, Alpha Gods. It's uh, by Utan Comics, and it is uh, currently loading on my screen, so I know what it is exactly I'm going to say to you. Credits. Uh, it, first off, it, again, it's out by uh, Orang Utan Comics, I'm sorry. Uh, it is uh, Alpha Gods, a graphic novel. It's in two parts. Uh, you can get it on my ebook, and you can also uh, go directly to their website, which is www.alphagods.co.uk. I don't know why anyone says www. anymore. Everybody just knows. I promise to never make that mistake again. So, let's break this up. Alpha Gods is a team-oriented story, and it is surrounding basically about, we'll say, six characters in total. And they are varying ages of teenagers, who the oldest, I think, is 18. And they uh, basically are brought together by a government uh, group uh, headed by a fellow by the name of, uh, oh, I'm going to forget his name, uh, Agent Alpha. How could I forget that? Uh, anyway, so at the end of the day, he brings them together so that they could help, for lack of a better word, police other super organisms in the world. And of course, there is a main bad guy. Uh, so yeah, so let's talk about the story. The story is written by Ian Sharman, who um, is the editor also of U Orang Utan Comics. I don't know, I can't get that right. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, anyways, he uh, he is the writer for this. And how is the writing? The writing is, uh, am I going to say superb? It's good. It's really, really good. Uh, there's a very good flow to the story, very easy to follow. Uh, not convoluted at all, uh, which is great. Uh, and there's a lot of humor involved with the book, so that... Uh, that in itself works. Um, it's I said earlier it was a graphic novel, so it is two um, two uh, comics separate that you can go to my ebook and get, or you can go to them and purchase it uh, through Orangutan Comics. If you want, you should. Starving artists need money to eat, and then they won't be starving artists anymore. Uh, so what else? Uh, yeah, no, great flow to the story. Uh, it's wonderful. I think you should check that part of it out if you like intriguing stories in your comic books. Next, the pencils and inks are done by a fellow by the name of Ezekiel Panida. Or Pineda. Not sure how to pronounce it again, I apologize. You can go to the comment section and tell me what your, how to pronounce your last name if you would like. Again, as we said earlier, I'm an idiot and I just can't figure things out for myself. Uh, so anyways, let's talk about the art. The art is really nice. It, it um, There's a nice flow to the story when you're reading the story. It, uh, it doesn't um, fall on itself at all, if that makes sense. It, it's, it's very clean and it's very precise. And, and I guess between Ian and Ezekiel, they make it very clear what it is that they're trying to show you and what they're trying to you know promote to you and uh, I think they do an excellent job of that sort of stuff um, Ezekiel's inks are you know they're good I like them um, that didn't sound very exciting but no they're, they're you know they're good he I, I'm guessing I don't know that he pencils them and does all the inking which I know from uh, from my own experience it can be somewhat tedious sometimes, but uh, he seems to carry his own. His style of art is uh, unique into itself. He seems to have a, a nice understanding of the human anatomy, uh, which is good. 
um, and he incorporates humor. A lot of the looks that the characters will get on their faces and stuff are quite humorous, and uh, so that makes it uh, an even easier read. Uh, something I forgot to mention earlier that the books are broken up into chapters so there's you know four four to five pages of a chapter of the story being told from different perspectives so uh, yeah that part of it's great and uh, next colors the colors are done by Mario Mario Barboza I'm sure I just killed that just now as well uh, anyways Fantastic, absolutely beautiful. I, 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 I guess the big thing to point out about this is that even though this is an independent comic, the entire presentation of it from cover to cover is professional and it looks great. The lettering is great, um, which I'm guessing was done by Ian. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say it was him. Um, It is a professionally done independent comic, if that is, makes sense, and it does make sense. So, uh, and I do think if you like comics, uh, if you just like the art form of sequential art, then you would probably most likely, and you like superhero type stories, uh, that you will like Alpha God. So I say go check them out. Uh, again, myebooks.com, uh, or you can go to their own website and be linked over to purchase said books. Uh, thank you, and I hope to see you again in another installment of a Verbal Brew video review for you. Out of the blue. Excellent. Out of the blue.